Hello and welcome to Vice Flies YouTube channel. This is episode one of the Fly Time for Beginners series, Strip Coil Buzzer. Let's jump right into it. Hello and welcome to Vice Flies. Now, today we're going to be tying a stripped quill, black and red holographic buzzer. Um, now this is a pretty basic pattern and it's a really good one to get into for beginner fly tires. Now it's actually a very effective pattern so it's one of those flies that you can tie and begin to feel really good about your tying because it will catch a lot of fish, um, especially rainbow trout in early season and in, in fact throughout the entire year because it's such an effective pattern. Um, all you need to tie this is black uni thread, just like that, um, a size 12 B175 hook or anything of the similar, you can tie this in um, larger sizes, size 10, even down to size 14 and even on a grub hook, whatever you've got to hand is uh, is really plenty good enough for this sort of fly. Um, my favourite is the size 12. Uh, you'll need a thin pedal mylar for the, the, top, of the top of the wing, wing buds uh, and you'll need a medium red holographic for this pattern as well, just like that. So starting off we're just going to start a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook and just work our way down with the black thread. You can tie this in uh, in other other styles, you can tie this in olive, even reds, yellows, whatever you really want to try to be honest. One of the most common patterns is black, black and olive are the two most common types of buzzer. Now I like to just work around slightly onto the back of the hook with, uh, with when I'm working on a straight hook and on a grub hook you would this basically normally happens but I like to give it just a slight kink around the bend. A lot of people like to leave them short uh, and all you're going to do is take a strand of peacock herald just like this. Now this is for a natural stripped quill so that what that means is just simply taking off the fibres on a peacock herald like this and to do that all you need is a is a rubber like this and you can see already the peacock herald on the end of that rubber there and uh, this is your your finished outcome and now i've cut this to, to size because i like to use the thick end which is the lower half of the peacock peacock herald here and that's your result so all we're going to do is tie in the thin end whatever range you want to use just like so just fold it in gently and tie that in and then work your thread all the way back up to the head of the fly try you leave an even body of thread because we are going to varnish this so it doesn't matter too much if you find that you're, you can't really be uneven as this is a beginner pattern we try and be as even as possible working back up to just in front of where you were um, and now our head's going to be substantially longer than this but don't worry too much about that we want to create an overlap effect at the end so then just take your quill and gently work towards yourself leaving about a, a millimeter to two millimeter gap in between you can leave a smaller gap if you like i like to leave just about the that much and then tie off once you get to the top there and now we are going to just simply ping that off it's very very brittle so be careful when you're you're tying that up if you do break don't worry about it make sure that you've got plenty to hand and um, so now we're going to start tying our top here uh, first thing that we're going to tie in is the the UV mylar just simply tie that in over the top there and try and have a look as you're tying it in to make sure that it's perfectly on top and don't be afraid to come over the top of that quill we want to have a nice even head and now that once we're up to the base of where the head's going to be in fact I kind of want that a little bit slightly bigger now we're going to tie in the red holographic Just fold it in. You can do this in one strand, so if you take one strand on the thread and fold it up, you can do that. But for the purpose of this video, because this is a beginner video, I think that it's a lot easier just to 
just to tie in two separate strands. Now if they're getting in your way, don't be afraid to use your vise and just pull them back. Now fold in this side, try to make it as even on both sides as possible. And then pull them all back and work your way back up towards the head of the fly. Now this is where you can be slightly rougher on the thread here because we're going to build up a small head of fly for these cheeks to sit on. And I like to have a tapered head towards the front as that is what a midge pupil would look like um, for the fish to be looking at normally. First thing we're going to do is pull across those those red holographic cheeks and just fold them in in one turn. One thing that a lot of beginner tires make as a problem is uh, too many turns at the head of a fly, so they get quite a bulky head, and uh, often you don't notice how many turns that you are actually putting in to the front. So you want to try and notice, make sure that you're putting in as few turns as possible. And now with simply three turns, you can do it in one. With each of those strands, pull them forward and lock them in place. Now pull them back, revealing the eye of the fly, and put one, two, three turns in front of them. Just try to pull them back a wee bit more. Now we're going to simply cut away the excess, get as close as you possibly can. Those lock turns that we just put in there have saved us because we did have a slight, slight fall there. Now rather than putting the extra turns we're simply going to use our whip finish to try and tie off the top of those and fold it up. Those bits of holographic that we've missed. Now tie off your whip finish, make sure that's secure and finish the fly. Now that is the finished dressing, but what we're going to do is just to make that, that slightly more buzzer-like, what we often do is varnish the fly. So what we're going to use is, uh, I like to use Sally Hansen's, uh, which is just a simple clear nail varnish. Um, and simply give this two or three coats, depending on how thick you want it, so trying to evenly spread it. And this is an, an untainted brush, so often what I do with my brushes is actually cut them, taper the end there to be more definite, so that you can actually get right into any fly crevice that you need. Just putting an even coat on first. And try and shape it the way that you want. I like to just simply try and keep the same it's not a bug bond, so you won't get too much of a shape, but uh, just keep an even shape in it all. Sort itself out here. Again, you want to try and taper out that body, you don't want to have too much of a bulk at the back of the fly. And that is the, the finished product there. Now you, you should be able to see the UV UV on top. That on sunny days just adds that extra element of attractiveness to the fish and uh, it's just an all round great pattern that can be tied on in many different occasions. With two, with two more coats of Sally Hansen's or even super glue, that would be a much, much thicker fly. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a like and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content. We'd love to hear from you, so please leave us a comment telling us what you think and what patterns you'd like to see. See you in the next video.